वेलकम बैक टू अवर मैथ म्यूजिक शो आई होप बाई नाउ यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड एंजॉइंग मैथमेटिक्स एज अ सब्जेक्ट आई नो मैथमेटिक्स इज वन सब्जेक्ट विच मोस्टली स्केयर्स एवरीबडी बट वी हैव ट्राइड सो दैट द मैथमेटिक्स सब्जेक्ट बिकम्स डीमिस्टिफाइड सिंप्लीफाइड एंड नॉट सो डिफिकल्ट टूडेज एडिशन इज ऑन साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन एज द वर्ड सेज simultaneous it means together so what is together in mathematics the simultaneous equation simultaneous equation or you can say a pair of equation means when there are two equations and both of them are satisfied together for example let me write an equation 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 this is an equation isn't it the first number that we are seeing out here is 3 this is called as the coefficient here we are seeing x also that is the variable here we are seeing y that is also a variable here we are seeing 4 that is the coefficient of y and lastly here we are seeing 20 that is called as the constant term let us go through them all over again first of all the variables are in this case x and y so there are two variables in this case what is a variable it can acquire any value whatever you want to substitute is it however in this case there is a condition also and that is why it is also an equation why is it an equation because there is a left hand side which has a certain value so which has a certain expression it also has a right hand side which has a certain value which has a certain expression two expressions equated together becomes an equation here 3 is the number attached to the variable x and that 3 is therefore called as the coefficient of x similarly here the number 4 is attached to the variable y and that is why it is called as the coefficient of y and no need to say 20 is the constant term because that is something which is a stand alone number and that is not going to change this is an equation of numeric type where you are seeing numerical values the same equation could also be algebraic coefficients with algebraic coefficients for example you could could have an equation ax plus by is equal to c nothing different it is just that the coefficients have become algebraic instead of numeric x and y still remains the variable a is the coefficient of x as you can see and b is the coefficient of y and instead of a numerical value the constant in this case is c this is the details of an equation and its various terminologies associated when it comes to simultaneous equation as i emphasized on the word simultaneous there must be another equation simultaneous together so let me write another equation i have already written one that is 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 let me write another one and that is suppose 5x minus 2y is equal to suppose 40 this is another equation again with two variables x and y with the respective coefficients and also a constant quickly 5 coefficient of x minus 2 coefficient of y and 40 is the constant term now why are we giving the heading as simultaneous equations is because in this case both the equations must be satisfied together and that is why we are using the terminology simultaneous means together equations it is not equation it is equations however you might say can't we uh, get the values of x and y with just one equation well i don't want to answer that myself let me ask it uh, the, this as a question uh, farooq the question for you can we solve only the first equation let's say for example this equation is 3x plus 4y is equal to 
can we solve this and get the value of x and y what do you feel no sir okay so according to you the equation cannot be solved fine let me do one thing what do you mean by solution of an equation because we have been equa doing equations for quite a few years so i don't think i need to introduce how to solve or whether we can solve an equation or not let me give you a solution and then you think over the same question as to whether we can solve this or not let's do one thing let's put x equal to 4 and y is equal to 20 in this case i will repeat x equal to 4 and y is equal to 20 in this case sorry y is equal to 2 in this case what will you get now because x equal to 4 so 3x becomes 3 into 4 i hope you are following it plus 4 into y so 4 into y is 2 so the left hand side becomes 3 into 4 plus 4 into 2 and that becomes 12 plus 8 and that is 20 so if i put x equal to 4 and y is equal to 2 it seems that the equation is getting solved now with this background let me ask you another question and this for everybody so anybody can probably you know try and answer is that do you think it can be solved yes what is your opinion all uh, children yes, yes sir. sir okay that's an interesting answer just because i gave the answer as x equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 and it satisfied the equation now the opinion drastically changed earlier Farooq was saying that it cannot be solved and now that i have solved it now everybody says yes it can be solved but you know there is a small problem try to understand this problem let me give you another set of answer and that is let's put x equal to 6 in this case or rather x equal to 8 in this case fine so x equal to 8 and let's say y is equal to minus 1 when i put the values what do i get i get 3x this time is 3 into 8 plus 4y and this time because i put y is equal to minus 1 so it becomes 4 into minus 1 so the left hand side becomes 3 into 8 24 and 4 into minus 1 minus 4 so 24 minus 4 is equal to 20 wow that's great so when we put x equal to 4 and y is equal to 3 the equation was satisfied and now when i am putting x equal to 8 and y is equal to minus 1 even then it is satisfied so i asked the question again that i asked earlier can this equation be solved i have given one equation and that is 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 yes well uh, friends what is the opinion now well now everybody is a little confused oh we thought that there is a solution that you gave earlier you must be thinking like this and now you've given us another solution now in fact let me put it like this you try and find out some other solution so i throw it open to everybody anybody can attempt give me one more solution and then you will realize that actually in this case this equation does not have just one solution but many solutions interestingly many solutions isn't it so i'm just waiting for anybody to attempt and give me a solution okay rishi has gone has gone gone up let's ask rishi uh, what uh, solution he has for us yes rishi continue sir x is 12 and y is minus 4 great very good in fact he has done it very quickly also and that is he is saying that let's put x equal to 12 in this case according to rishi let's put y is equal to minus 4 and x equal to 12 and let's see what happens so x equal to 12 so 3 into 12 left hand side 3x plus 4 into y now this time rishi has proposed y as minus 4 so this becomes 3 12 the 36 minus 4 for the 16 and then it becomes 
20. Well, that sounds very interesting. We have already got three sets of solutions. If I put x equal to 4, y is equal to 2, the equation is satisfied. If I put x equal to 8 and y is equal to minus 1, even then the equation is satisfied. And now I am putting x equal to 12 and y is equal to minus 4 and even then the equation is satisfied. So, what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is that this equation we have written 3x, the equation that we have written 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 has many solutions. Likewise, if I write any equation, you will see that there are many solutions. So, one equation with two variables, there is no unique solution. When I say unique solutions, means only one answer, that is not the case. And that's precisely what we are going to discuss ahead in this chapter. And that is, how do we solve where there are two different equations satisfying the criteria of the equations, isn't it? And in the end, by the end of the chapter, we will learn how to solve a simultaneous set of equations. I hope you enjoyed this small section and just got to know what is simultaneous equations. In the next section, we will also know about how to solve them and there are various methods associated with them. Till then, enjoy your time and solve the questions before we go to the next section. Thank you. In this section, we learned about what is an equation of two variables. Simultaneous equations are two equations satisfied together. In the end, we also learned that an equation with two variables can have many solutions. Before we go to the next section, let's solve these few multiple choice questions. Question number one. An equation 4x minus y is equal to 8 can have option A, only one solution set, option B, two solution sets, option C, three solution sets, and option D, infinitely many solution sets. Question number 2, an equation 3x minus 4y is equal to 7 has one of the solution as option A, x equal to 5, y is equal to 2. Option B, x equal to 11, y is equal to 7. Option C, x equal to 13 and y is equal to 8. And option D, all of the above. The third and final question is, an equation x plus y is equal to 7 can have option A, only integral solutions. Option B, only rational solutions. Option C, any type of numbers as solutions. And option D, whole number solutions.